that's passed down from generation to generation. It's their song lines which they live by. It's their sacred song lines that they only give to initiated people. And why I'm saying this now is because I interviewed Tommy probably 50 or 60 times over a 10 year period. There's only two things he described in his paintings. One was about the kangaroo people and one was about the man-eaters that came up from the south. The reason why he would not disclose anything else that's in any of these paintings is because he was an initiated lawman and I wasn't and I had no right and nor did anybody have any right to know any secret ceremonial stuff that goes into these paintings. He named each painting, he was quite happy to name the paintings, but he wouldn't talk about it. And I'm always getting asked to tell the stories of each painting. I did learn about each painting. These swirls and these, this magnificent masterpiece here was actually the wind. If you've ever been in the Western Desert, you can actually see the desert oaks moving in the breeze and then the mulga trees moving and there's a lot of wind there and there's not a lot to stop. The colours in his paintings, the extraordinary colours which defines Tommy more than any other artist, are the colours that he saw in the desert. The red oak, the earth, the sunsets, the sunrises, and also the beautiful wildflowers that come out after a sprinkling of rain. So you might not recognise the blue here or the pink here as in the flowers, because most of the flowers out there are sort of red um, or, or, or white or yellow. But that's his interpretation of those colours. That's also very important to, to remember. 